Good morning, happy Monday. I just got back from the gym a little bit ago, did my skincare, and I've been meeting in about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna hop on that call in a bit, make some breakfast, and finish up my morning. Figured I would do a week in my life vlog because I typically just film a day in my life or I'll film a couple days and combine it in one whole vlog. But I feel like a week would be more entertaining because my typical day-to-day -day routine is pretty similar. So sometimes, at least for me, my vlogs can feel a little repetitive as I do a lot of the same things every single day. But a week in my life, I can definitely add some things in, switch things up a little bit. So that's what we're doing this week. I just got back from the gym, like I said. Did a leg day today, which felt super good. And went for a walk along Bayshore. It is so sunny out. And my friend Madison's coming over in like an hour. So I'm gonna hop on that call in a bit and that'll probably last me like 30 minutes to 45 then she's gonna come over we're gonna lay out by the pool for a bit it's actually her birthday today so we're gonna have like a chill day celebrating her birthday and then later tonight grab some dinner go to happy hour and get ready for that so i wanted to kick off the vlog but we're gonna finish up the morning i'm gonna make myself some breakfast and get going on some work morning happy tuesday i just sat down on my coffee table to get some work done this morning tuesdays are typically the day where i'll get up get my workout in and then the second i get back from my workout i'm just like face in my laptop on my screen and getting work done pretty much all day doing editing or admin work but i do have therapy in about 30 minutes so i'm gonna hop on my therapy call and get that started this morning every tuesday I do it at 11 a.m and it's nice because i can just do it from home and it's entirely online which is one of the greatest things like i can either chat with my therapist phone call. I can video chat with her. There are so many different ways of communication, which I love. And I typically go every week. And if it's not every week, sometimes we do every other week, but I've been on a routine of going weekly for the last like month and a half. And we did every other week for like two months prior. And now I love the routine of doing it weekly because we can catch up, chat, and I've been going for OCD, which is something I talked about a couple of vlogs ago or maybe a couple months ago. Honestly, every like time is going by so fast. It's scary, but um, it just got to a point of of me realizing that I need to seek professional help and really focus on my mental health in terms of my OCD and managing my obsessive thoughts. And it has been so, like prior to therapy, it was so debilitating in my daily routine and it still creeps up here and there, but through going through therapy, I have learned so many different tools and ways to really manage my OCD and control my obsessive thoughts and what to do when they do come in and how I should relax or, you know, take charge of them when I'm in certain, certain circumstances circumstances I can't speak right now but yeah it has been so 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 helpful and I'm just so grateful for my therapist so her and I actually connected through BetterHelp and they are sponsoring today's video so I wanted to say a huge thank you to BetterHelp because it has truly been the biggest change of my life recently in the best way possible and if you are going through anything mentally or you just want to talk to someone professionally and just get an unbiased opinion then I definitely recommend checking out BetterHelp and just taking control of your mental health there is nothing more important than making sure you have your mental health under control and really learning the tools and the tricks that you can do to help whatever you're going through but it has been so incredibly helpful and I really encourage you to try it out or if you've been thinking about therapy definitely look into it I will leave a link down below and you can head over to betterhelp.com Schneider and they will match you with a licensed professional like I said usually within about 48 hours I'm gonna hop on that call and then we'll get some work done for the day I have quite a busy day ahead and quite a long to-do list so I'm going to tackle this and then I'll catch up with you guys in a couple hours.
We're gonna take a little break from editing. I just changed into a comfy, cozy sweatshirt because I'm like freezing for some reason. I don't know why it's 70 in my apartment. So it's not that cold at all. I always keep my apartment at 70, which some people think is cold, but anything above that, I'm like, I'm breaking a sweat in here. But I have no idea why I'm so tired today. I did not even get to bed late last night. Like Madison and I went and got happy hour. And then after that, we just went to her apartment and watched Keeping Up With The Kardashians because it ended up pouring rain yesterday, which was a damper on her plans. We were gonna go to happy hour, get dinner and everything. And then after we got drinks, we were like, should we just go back and have a very chill night? And that's what we did. But I figured I would show you guys a PR haul because I just got some packages from my mailroom. So I'm gonna unbox everything. I have no idea where this one is from, but I just unboxed this one from Dr. Dance Gross. Vitamin C Lactic Creamy Cleansing Oil, which this will be amazing to try out. I just ran out of the fresh soy face cleanser that I was using, which is like my all time favorite cleanser. It's like $40, I think, from Sephora. But I'm telling y'all, it is worth every penny. Like that cleanser makes my skin baby smooth, super soft, and I've heard amazing things about Dr. Dennis Gross, so I'm excited to try out this product. I have the peel pads, which I barely ever use, so I'm looking forward to this though. I love anything and everything vitamin C, as we know. And then this package, I don't know where it's from. It doesn't have like a return label, or it does, but I don't recognize the address. Ooh, it's from Cetaphil. Oh my gosh, wow. They sent over plenty of goodies. It's like, box filled with different things got some body wash this is the ultra gentle refreshing body wash again almost out of my current body wash so that's good some gentle skin cleanser cetaphil is like such a good brand like this is great for sensitive skin or acne prone skin you can find it at target honestly any drugstore also some daily oil face moisturizer with spf love that i'm very picky with my sunscreens because i have very sensitive skin so i got spf 35 and then spf 50 which will be perfect for the beach but regardless of the time of year i always make sure to put sunscreen on my skin because even in the winter like you can still get sun damage so that was everything that i got from seed to fill love that i always get so excited when brands send me stuff like just crazy. And Cetaphil is like a brand that I've used ever since probably, oh my gosh, middle school. And then this, you guys, this is so exciting. Set Active sent me some of their new pieces, which kind of full circle here because I'm big into manifesting or like writing out anything that I want. I'll like write it out in my journal and I just have different goals that I want to hit within my work life. And one of the things, as silly as it sounds, I've like always said, I want to be sent PR from Set Active. It's one of my favorite workout brands. Kind of like a small business workout brand, I guess. And they sent me over some super cute pieces. So I wanted to show you guys. The first thing I got were these biker shorts. The Sculpt Flex biker shorts are some of my favorites. I always wear these anytime I'm going on a walk in the summer, going on my runs. These are so comfy. They're so flattering also. I love how high-waisted they are. And then they just say set on the back. They're so nice. Also, they're seamless too. And these are like the only seamless biker shorts that don't give me a camel toe in any sort of way. So I'm a big fan of these. And then I just got the sports bra to match. This is the sport body sports bra in the box cut. I actually have this in a few different color varieties because I love it so much. So I wanted to just get a black color because obviously this will go with like everything and it's so flattering on the chest. And then I believe this is in one of their new materials that they came out with. So I got the leggings and these are the form cloud leggings. So they're very, very soft, super cute. Again, I love how there's no like seam on the front. I think all of their leggings are seamless if I'm not mistaken, so. I love these and wow, they have a good stretch to them. And then of course the sports bra to match. We all know I'm in love with my matching sets. So this one is just like a razor back style so sports bra. Honestly, tonight I think I'm in a sauna, so I might wear this for my little sauna sesh. I want to get like a 30 minute sauna session tonight. I'm trying to do more like detox and sauna sessions because it's so good for your body. And I have a sauna in my apartment and I used to use it a lot in the winter. Not that it's like cold here by any means, but it's just like a good time to relax to maybe meditate. I try to get into meditation and I just do not have the patience for it, but I'm trying to make that more of a priority. Just like slowing down and genuinely relaxing at the end of the night. So I think that's what we'll do as I finish up work today. And then the last package I got sent is actually from my friend Anna. She came out with her own collection with this brand called Live By. And I'm so, so, so excited to try this workout stuff. Oh my God, she's so cute. 
I'm so proud of her. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's kind of similar to that style of the set Aqua Sports Bra that I showed y'all. Very flattering cut. I love straight across sports bras like these. They're super comfortable as well. And I like this material. It's like very, very soft, super stretchy. I have a white little tennis skirt that this would look so good with. Getting new workout clothes is like the best thing ever. I love cute workout sets, as we obviously know. And these are the matching leggings. Oh wow, these are cool. They have like a little layer right here with white kind of more of like that contrast style so fun i'm excited to try these on i'm gonna clean all this up put it away and then we'll get back to work also i'm in the mood for poppy so i definitely need to crack open a poppy you guys i went to costco the other day and look at what i got i completely loaded up my drink fridge with all these poppies because costco had my favorite flavors in like a package together so We've got the lemon lime, watermelon, and then the strawberry or the raspberry rose. So good. What should I do? What flavor are we thinking? Maybe I'll do watermelon. wrapped up everything for work right now and I'm actually heading out for a walk because even though I was walking a little bit oh my god I thought this was a bug but it's a little fuzz um I was walking a little bit on my walking pad getting some work done this afternoon but now I'm gonna go outside and get some fresh air because I'm just in kind of like a funky headspace right now and truly I have no idea why I think it's because I did not get enough sleep last night and I haven't been getting great quality sleep probably for the last like week or so because I don't know like I just generally don't know why I don't have a reason I'm not going to bed feeling anxious or anything and I think a lot of it is just like scrolling on my phone mindlessly which is my own bad habit so I want to fix that but I have not been going Going to bed before like 12 30 or 1 which is very unlike me so anyways we're gonna go for a walk listen to a podcast there's a new podcast um from peyton sarton that i want to listen to it's a short one it's like 30 minutes or so so i'll listen to that on my walk but i changed into the super cute set active set from earlier i love these biker shorts these are the sculpt flex and then the box cut bra i think this is in the material sports body and then this is the sculpt material so i can link it down below and then my shoes i'm just wearing my new balance sneakers ready for the day here's a quick fit check i'm heading out to a coffee shop this morning get some work done with my friend we'll probably be there for like a couple hours so i wanted to wear something very comfy i've been super into boxer shorts especially for the summer this is like the cutest trend the stripes these are actually from hollister this tube top is from old navy the pinks match perfectly so i love this little look purse is from songmont and then i just have these amazon sunnies which are so cute i love the style of these and then my jewelry this necklace is from ori and then this charm necklace I actually cannot find it for the life of me i got it at a farmer's market a couple years ago in fort lauderdale 
Riverdale and it's an Etsy shop but I've like searched high and low and I cannot find it but I know term necklaces are trending a lot right now so I'll find something similar and link it for y'all and then for my shoes I'm just wearing my Birkenstocks so that's the fit I'm gonna pack up my computer bag and then we'll head on out for my computer bag I've been using this tote that I bought from Lulu and I love it it holds so many things which is nice and I love that it has like side pockets and a pocket also in the bag so it's not just like a black hole of a bunch of different things especially when I have it different chargers and my memory cards and things I like to keep my work bag somewhat organized also it's nice because I'll bring this with me to the beach because like I said there's so many compartments and it's like a cute little beach bag or obviously a gym bag too so I love that and there's a, a little compartment for my water but it won't spill on my computer but yeah I can definitely link it down below because I've been loving this bag ever since I got it it's also perfect for like a carry-on too it's such a nice size just finished up at the coffee shop it's about 5 15 right now so perfect timing honestly I'm shocked I got all the work that I wanted to get done finish up because usually especially lately I've been working so late into the night yeah it was a good productive afternoon however it's so hard to find coffee shops in Tampa that stay open past 2 p.m. like we went to flat bread and butter which is a place that I've been wanting to try for so long like they just recently opened within the last couple months I would say and I have tried going like three separate times and they close at 2 p.m. so we got there around I think it was like 12 30 ish and by the time we would have like sat down and ended up like getting productive in our workflow we would have had to leave so when i'm at a work or when i'm at a work when i'm at a coffee shop i want to sit down and camp out and like work for the afternoon so we landed on buddy brew which buddy brew is just a tampa classic i swear their coffee is really good but it's not like my favorite i think right now i'm gonna go walk along bayshore maybe for like an hour or so maybe do like two and a half to three mile walk we'll kind of see so we're gonna do that before i head on back home because i've been trying to hit like 15,000 in steps a day. I actually talked about it or I've been vlogging it over on TikTok and bring you along my daily journey of it and I still have about oh my gosh a little over I'm halfway there I'm at 7,792 right now so we got some more steps we got to get in but just getting outside and going for it daily walks and like getting fresh air has been so nice and definitely has helped my mental health out a lot and just physically I feel super good so I've been either doing it in the morning or in the evening last night I did it like I said obviously for sunset as you saw but I want to start doing it a little earlier so that I'm not like going to bed around 11 30 to 1 a.m because that's been my typical routine recently which is not a good habit to be in just because now that the sun sets so much later which thank god i love the daylight lasting so long that i'm just so used to working until the sun goes down and like taking advantage of the daylight as much as possible whether it's filming content or editing i don't know why but like i just cannot shut off until the sun is down and that's not productive so i'm trying to just shut work off around like 6 or 7 p.m and then start cooking dinner around that time then i can be in bed around 9 30 at the latest so that i have like a good chunk of an hour or an hour and a half to generally unwind and take the time for self-care at the end of the night instead of you know shutting my computer the second the sun goes down and then rushing my night cooking dinner doing my skincare and all of that and then like putting my head on the pillow and calling it a day so yeah that's just my little thought but anyways we're gonna change and then head over to Bayshore Clearly, it's a bit later. I got back from my walk probably like an hour ago and immediately showered, changed into my pajamas, and now we're gonna make some dinner because I ended up cutting my walk a little bit short. I just went for it two and a half miles. I was hoping I would have hit my 15,000 steps a day goal by the end of my walk or get to at least like three or four miles. But I'm telling y'all, it was so flipping hot out. I don't know why it was still like 95 degrees around 6 p.m. I thought that I could, you know, handle, push through, but that heat, I could just not bear it any longer. So I caught up with my sister on the phone though during my 
my walk, so that was nice. Listen to a podcast. I was listening to this new podcast episode with Gracie Norton. I love the Transform podcast. It's one of my favorite shows to listen to. It's with Sammy Spalter and Sammy Clark. Sammy Clark is one of my favorite influencers. I love following her form app. That's how I do a lot of my at-home workouts is with the app form. It's like Yoga Sculpt. They also just started doing strength training, so I followed that along this morning for my workout. But yeah, I was just listening to that. I have about 20 minutes left to listen to that while I cook my dinner tonight. I'm just gonna make a tofu salad quick and easy. I love that I like prep proteins on Sunday nights because on a night like tonight where I I'm feeling very lazy and I don't really want to cook anything and I'm just like hungry and I want dinner on the table. It's nice that I can just throw some tofu over my salad, throw these veggies in the air fryer and I'll have dinner ready within minutes. So I love that. I also ordered my blue apron so that'll come next week. I love having like meal kit service deliveries so that I can, you know, switch up cooking what I make in the kitchen and not have the same thing on repeat because you guys know I'm a creature of habit when it comes to different meals, but I like what I like. finished up my workout this morning and, and now I'm gonna make breakfast. Of course, we're making the protein oats per usual, but I got this new protein powder this week because I ran out of the protein powder that I was using. I switched between like chocolate and vanilla-based protein powders, but vanilla-based like flavors in general are just my favorite. So I got this cake batter flavor from Clean Simple Eats and holy shit, like I have not had a better protein powder in my entire life. It honestly tastes like candy and I love it. Also, the ingredients list is super nice because there's no like artificial sweeteners. There's a prebiotic fiber in here. It has for digestive enzymes. Yeah, no artificial ingredients, no added sugar. I love it. So I got it at the vitamin shop, but I'm sure they sell it on Amazon, so I can link it down below. I've also tried Clean Simple Eats greens powder before, and I love, love, love their greens powder. So I definitely need to repurchase that sometime soon. But I was using AG1 for a while, and I love that as well. You guys know the drill with my protein oats. It's like what I look forward to every single morning. They're so good. Also, I've been mixing this in cottage cheese in the middle of the day with like some granola and fruit added in it for like a high protein snack. Do not knock it until you try it. If you don't like the flavor of cottage cheese, but you don't mind the texture, my best advice is to add like some protein powder or even mix in some peanut butter because it helps change the flavor of it and actually generally tastes really good. I don't mind the flavor of cottage cheese because I do like things kind of salty. So that is my piece of advice for that. I really am prioritizing like higher protein snacks and different meals throughout the day. Not that I, you know, count macros or anything, but I kind of want to start just to get an idea of how much protein I'm having throughout my day because I have like a pretty good idea, but not like an exact or general number. So maybe I'll start doing that because I do have like a food scale, which looks like this. I got this on Amazon probably a few months ago because I wanted to start tracking macros. It was for a while, a while as in like two months, but then I stopped because I did find that it kind of took an extra, well, Maybe not an extra amount of time. It did just like take a little bit longer, you know, like making breakfast wasn't just like super quick and simple. I had to weigh everything or like, I don't know, think twice about it. But I kind of want to get into that more. I think once I have maybe a physique goal or something like that, or maybe I'm going to focus on strength training more, then I can look into like actually 
counting macros and stuff. But when I go to the gym, honestly, I just go for therapeutic reasons. Like it's just so ingrained in a part of my routine. And especially right now, I'm not focusing too heavily on strength training like I used to. I'm starting to do more low impact workouts. Today was definitely like slower. I would consider today like low impact workout because I wasn't so focused on the amount of weight with what I was doing. I was more focused on the amount of reps. And when I do lightweight higher reps. I definitely find that I get a much better burn than when I'm doing like high volume or high weights. I can't think and cut this banana at the same time, <laughs> but you guys know what I mean. So anyways, I'm going to cook up my breakfast and also get some editing done while I eat this morning and then we'll get the rest of the day going. I do want to run to the mall today. I have a couple of errands to take care of because tomorrow I have my friend's bachelorette party. So I'm going to leave. It's like a weekend long thing in Cape Coral. So it's like a two and a half hour drive. So I'm going to leave probably tomorrow afternoon, get some work done in the morning, kind of get situated in the morning as well. But yeah, today I definitely need to pack, shower, like do all the things, you know, and then get situated. So that's kind of the plan for today. Out running my errands right now first stop is gonna be costco i just need to fill up my tank with or my car with gas and then grab a couple of things in the grocery store i don't need to do like a grocery shop obviously because i'll be gone this weekend but since i'm already here there's a few things i like to grab while i'm at costco then we'll head to the mall make my returns and we'll be good to go it may be 95 degrees out and yes i am wearing a hoodie i just love to be cozy like 24 7 and regardless of the temperature i'll be in a hoodie or a crew neck like that's just the mood and then i just threw on a little navy blue tennis skirt this is actually from old navy and then this hoodie is from white fox and I'm sitting down editing per usual. It's about 3.45 right now and I have a little bit left of this Sunday vlog to edit. So I'm gonna take care of this and then probably just clean around my apartment a little bit. I have a load of laundry that I wanna take care of. I need to pack for the bachelorettes and then probably wash my hair relatively soon because I really wanna see. I don't wanna go to bed tonight with my hair like somewhat damp because I've seen this on TikTok, people using the day styling cream as like a curler. I don't know how to explain it, but essentially, obviously it's great to use for slick backs and everything. I didn't use it today. This is honestly so just dirty hair so hair wash day is essential i usually wash my hair on thursdays and sundays sometimes i can go once a week with just washing my hair which is so nice because it's not good to wash your hair every single day obviously it depends on your hair type and everything but for me i cannot wash my hair every single day for one it will like completely damage my hair and i find that my hair grows so much faster the less i wash it throughout the week if that makes sense but Back to what I was saying, the day styling gel looks so good when you wash your hair and then you let it air dry for like, well, you let your hair get about 75% air dry and then you put the product all throughout your hair and give it like a scrunch and supposedly it makes your hair look so curly and it looks like you put a curling iron to it. So I want to put that to the test today and see if I could do it. I don't know. We'll have to see because my hair is very thick so I don't know if it can hold up a natural curl like that but when I style my hair, like for example, straightening it, I straightened it on, was it Monday? Mon yeah, it was Monday. And it still has a straight style to it right now. And when I curl my hair, the curls will last like three or four days. So my hair holds style really well, but I don't know if it'll hold with like the natural kind of cream. We'll have to see. But anyways, that's kind of the plan for the rest of the night. I'm just drinking a poppy while I finish editing. I swear I have one of these like every single day. They're my addiction. And I don't want to hear that they have a lawsuit going on, blah, 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 because to be honest, I don't care. I enjoy my poppy and I don't want this joy to be taken away from me. It's like when everyone started to love Celsius and then boom, 
it came out that Celsius was giving you heart palpitations and all this stuff. I'm like, yes, it's probably not great for you, but are any of the foods in America great for you? Not really. <laughs> like, let's, let's be real. Our fruits and veggies probably aren't even great for us yet. We still eat them. So I'm gonna still enjoy my poppy, regardless of what in the heck is on the internet about it right now, because these are like these are the little things in life that bring me joy i think they're just they're in a lawsuit because they market it's like marketed as healthy and good for your gut but they like aren't or something i don't know it's probably just the way of wording that they're getting a lawsuit for because it says prebiotics for your gut infused with apple cider vinegar i don't know should we look it up or should we not i mean regardless i'm still gonna drink them but i'm kind of just curious poppy lawsuit that's probably why they're on sale right now at Publix and Costco or not Costco Publix and Whole Foods okay let's look at this why they are getting sued it says the suit doesn't just claim that the brand is falsely advertising it also alleges poppy could be bad for your health why Oh, too much insulin? Taking as little as 2.5 grams of prebiotic supplements can lead to a buildup of gas, causing abdominal discomfort. Well, that checks out. I could definitely say that. Oh, so maybe there's too much agave insulin in here. Or agave inulin. That's what it's called. Look at me being all scientific. Yeah, it has agave inulin, and I guess too much of this builds gas and causes abdominal discomfort. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have read this. But you guys, I love Poppy. I will be a Poppy stan until the end of time. It says, a recent study found that consuming agave inulin over a long time period can significantly alter the gut's microenvironment, leading to immune system disruptions. Whoa. You know, that probably makes sense. I will tell you, I get so bloated after having these though, because obviously like, there's fiber and everything in here, so it like bloats you for a bit, but it gets things moving sometimes. However, a lot of these things that they're saying kind of checks out. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be done reading this because I like my poppy and I don't wanna keep getting sad. Okay, I guess actually to sum it up, it just says that they don't contain enough prebiotic fiber to support any meaningful gut health benefits. So the fact that they market themselves as like a gut health type of drink, but it doesn't have enough prebiotic fiber to actually support that is false advertising. So I get that. But it's okay, we all make mistakes, you know? You live and you learn, Poppy. It's all good. They can never make me hate you. They can never make me hate you. the fact that my hair looks absolutely crazy right now but i just let it air dry for like an hour and i'm just gonna spray some of this way leave-in conditioner i am loving this stuff i actually had the travel size and i brought it home with me in minnesota and i used it for i think like the first time and immediately my hair felt like 10 times softer and smoother the next morning and my mom was absolutely obsessed with it so i gave her my travel size one because i have the full size and i freaking love it so i just spritzed that all over my hair and then I'm gonna put in some hair oil. This is the Gisu hair oil that I use every single time I do my hair. I decided that I'm just gonna do my regular after shower hair care routine because I do not feel like doing something new. And if it were to not work out, that would be a bummer that I would have all of that hair product in my hair because I think this weekend I'll probably style my hair just by curling it or something. So that's the plan with that. And also I wanna put in some of these IGK leave-in purple toning drops. This is super nice if you have blonde hair because it like enhances the blonde a little bit. So I just take a couple drops. You're supposed to mix it with like a leave-in conditioner, but since my leave-in conditioner is a spray-in, we're just going to put this throughout the hair. It's a concentrate, so 
just need a tiny bit but sometimes i'll even mix it with like my conditioner and do it in the shower but if you want more like an enhanced effect it's good to do it and leave it in the hair after so that's what we're doing for the hair it smells so good. I cannot get over the scent of this way leaving conditioner. Like, it smells like a salon, and that's always the best. And then I'm just gonna brush it out. Even for having like super thick and long hair, I find that my hair brushes out really nicely, and I really don't get too many tangles, especially with using that leaving conditioner. So, you can definitely link everything down below per usual. Now that my hair is all brushed out, I like to just give it a little oomph. <laughs> and then at the ends, I'll just scrunch it up a little bit. I find that doing this gives my hair its natural wave and just makes it look a little extra curly the next day. So I'm just going to do that and not let that air dry. I'm big into letting my hair towel dry and air dry. Sometimes I'll blow it out like with my shark if I want to or if I have something going on and I want like a blowout that night or that day, but I will be in a pool tomorrow and we have a boat day this weekend. So I'm like, it's not worth blowing out my hair for because it'll probably get dirty from the ocean water. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do for my hair right now. Just let it dry for the rest of the night. I'm gonna do a face mask actually right now because I just did my skincare in the shower. Guys, I used up every last bit of this fresh soy face cleanser. This definitely goes down as one of my favorite skincare products of all time. I love trying out new skincare care products and finding what I really like and what I would definitely repurchase in the future and this is one of those products for sure. I have some cleansers that I was sent in PR and things that I actually bought or cleansers that I actually bought previously so I'm going to use those up, try them out, see how I like them. That's like one of the best things about getting sent PR is I love trying out new products and sharing like my honest review with them and this, oh my gosh, like I'm obsessed. Definitely going to keep this a part of my routine once I finish all those cleansers unless I find something that tops this or a drugstore dupe to this because this is I think around 35 or 40 dollars but for me skincare is something that I definitely invest in and I think it's worth the investment especially a cleanser like this because I've never seen like a drastic difference in terms of my skin when I use cleansers until I started using this like my pores are smaller my skin just appears a lot smoother it feels healthier it looks a lot brighter and this is definitely a factor to it also I double cleanse my skin which is huge too I used to use the Skin Better Science Oxygen Cleanser and I bought that from my dermatologist, or not my dermatologist, my esthetician, and I ran out of that a few months ago. So I definitely wanna look back into getting that because I really liked it. But right now I'm just using the cleansing oil from Typology to take off all of my makeup. Then I go in with this as my second cleanser. But yeah, I'm big into the double cleansing and usually when I don't have that Typology like cleansing oil because that actually gets every last bit of makeup off my face, I use like the Burst Cleansing Balm, then I use this, and then I would finish with the Skin Better Science Oxygen Wash. And that's like three days different things to just get my face clean so I didn't like doing that so I definitely want to minimize it just down to two products so once I finish up that cleansing balm will probably be done with cleansing balms and just use an oil and then a gel based cleanser because I have heard that that's the best for your skin and I have personally found through my experience within the last like two months incorporating that gel or the cleansing oil that an oil cleanser along with the gel cleanser is exactly what my skin needs. So now that I'm out of this, I'm gonna use the La Roche-Posay cleansing gel. I've heard that is incredible, especially for like sensitive or acne prone skin, which is definitely what I have. People really like it. And my skin has been extra dry recently, especially like around my nose. I struggle with perioral dermatitis and it flares up with stress and gluten, which sucks so much. But yeah, skincare definitely helps along with that. But anyways, that is my skincare chat right now. We're gonna do the face mask. I'm just gonna do the Kiehl's face mask. This Kiehl's face mask one of my favorites. This is the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I've definitely talked about this so often in videos before because I love the way that it makes my skin feel. It just really gives your skin all of that TLC and smooths out your skin the next morning. I just wake up looking like a fresh glowy face and I love that. So I'm just gonna leave this on my skin for about like 20 minutes while I cook dinner. Mm -hmm. 